Hey, paranormal explorers, it's Exploring Arley. Yeah, tonight, you know, we'll just give a little try in that graveyard that I came this afternoon that I did a live in. So tonight, I will uh, check if anybody wants to communicate. Yeah, and uh, let's go and check it out. All right, I'll pull up the Google K2. And uh, yeah, we'll see. Oh, well, got spikes. Thank you. Anyone who wants to communicate, please feel free to come and. Thank you. To try and oh. I'll put this right here. And uh, yeah. I will with you guys on night vision. Not really a big difference, right? <laughs> Forgot my light in the hotel. Is there anyone who wants to communicate with me, please? Feel free. Come and touch the green light. My name is Jeff. Just want to communicate. That's all. Please, come and touch th this green light. Thank you. Can you touch it again? Thank you. Can you put it up to the red? All the way? Please? Thank you, whoever this is. Thank you, oh boy. Thank you. Can you touch it again, please? Again? Thank you. And like always, my phone is on airplane mode, so. Thank you. We'll go on the other side. Sorry, you guys, I'm gonna just pull the K2 out of it and put my hand and my camera so there you go so you guys can see more here you go come and touch the green light please just to show me that you're here anybody who wants to communicate please feel free and come touch the green light I mean you no harm. All the device, this device is harmless. And I have another device, it's called a torch or a flashlight in my pocket. And uh, yeah, it's harmless. So feel free to use it. Please feel free to come and touch the green light.
probably quite dark for you guys. I'll try to put my camera on night vision. There you go. It's probably a bit better like that. Can I put this on your tomb? Right here? Can you try and touch the green light, please? I will really appreciate just to prove that you're here with me. No? Even in graveyards, guys, the uh, spirits don't want to talk all the time. Sometimes they just want to, like, rest. So we'll just go around and we'll ask and we'll check if anybody, in anybody wants to communicate. If anybody wants to communicate with me, please feel free. Come and touch the green light. This graveyard is very, very old. Please feel free. Come and touch the green light, please. Nobody? Nobody wants to communicate? Thank you. So do you wish to communicate? Do I got anybody who wants to communicate? Please touch the green light. And I will stop right here. Do you want to communicate? There you go. Can you touch the green light? If you were to want that make the green light go up, can you touch it again? No? Okay, thank you. Well, let's thank you. So was it you? If I put it right here, can you spike on green light? Yes, thank you. Can you do that again, please? Thank you. Wow. Just confirm. Thank you. Can you put more energy into it? A bit higher? Doing a good job. Thank you. Can you spike it up all the way to the red? Put some energy into it. Put some more. Build it up. Yes. There you go. Thank you. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but when I put the K2 down, look at this. Now it's got nothing. Can you do it again? Yes, thank you. Right on command. Thank you very much. Wow. I have another toy, another device. It's 
It's called a flashlight, a torch. It's a light. So we'll just slightly put it so you can put the energy into it and it, it, it will light up. So there you go. I'll put it right here. Thank you. Can you turn it off? Can you turn the flashlight off, please? Thank you. Wow. So you wish to communicate with me, right? Can you turn on the flashlight if you wish to communicate with me? Come on. It's easier to light it up than turn it off. My name is Jeff, yes, thank you. Can you put that energy into the flashlight and turn it on? Do you want a countdown? Okay, on the count of three, okay? One, two, three. No? Okay. I would really appreciate it would if you would thank you. Wow. Just confirm and show everybody that you're here with me. Can you turn off the... Thank you. Oh, wow. Can you go back to the green light? And touch the green light? Just a little bit. Just to show me again that you're here and I will leave. I will go see somebody else. Or you want me to stay? If you want me to stay, can you turn on the flashlight again? Oh, the green light, thank you. Can you turn on the flashlight if you want me to stay? Or if you want me to leave, can you turn on the flashlight? Or are you not sure? Is that it? You're not sure if you want me to leave or stay? Thank you for the K2. If you want to still communicate with me, can you turn on the flashlight, the light on your gravestone? Can you turn it on? If you want me to, if you want to come, Sorry. If you want to continue communicating with me, can you turn on the flashlight? Okay. If you wish, if you want me to leave you alone, turn on the flashlight. Okay. Okay. You probably don't understand what I'm saying, right? Probably confused. Well, that's okay. My name is Jeff. I'm a friend. Yes. I'm from Quebec. I'm on visit. Yeah, you guys, I'm in Halifax, Nova Scotia, just as you know. And yeah, and by the way, I haven't thank you guys. I, I will thank you enough. Yes, look at the K2 is spiking to thank you guys. You got me a over 100. And I will thank you for that a thousand times, guys. Thank you. And don't forget the shop, all right? Don't forget the shop, skwani.com. SK1E.com. Eh, look at the K2 spiking up at the same time. Thank you. 
Can you turn on the flashlight again? You were doing good before. No? All right. So SK1A.com, you guys, don't forget the shop. Exploring, exploring, thank you. Flashlight turned on. <laughs> so the Exploring Ireland line is there. One dollar goes to Veteran Colors. So yeah, I'll thank you. And thank you again for the 100 subscribers. You guys are amazing. I will keep posting great videos. And that's why I'm here tonight. Look at that. K2 spiking, flashlight's still on. Can you turn, turn off the flashlight? Just to show everybody that you're still here with me? Please? Thank you. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. It's incredible. So, I'll, um, I'll leave you be. I thank you very much for the interaction that you gave me. And I'll go and visit some of your uh, fellow uh, fellow person. <laughs> I don't know how can I call a person. Well, can I see the name of the person? Probably on the other side. Uh, Mary Jane, daughter of. Thank you, Mary Jane. Died in 1828. Thank you, Mary Jane. It was you. It was very nice of you. Thank you. It was very kind of you. Wow. Oh. oh. Yeah. Do you want to communicate with me? Right here? Here we have Abigail Weston. Mrs. Weston, hello. And Mr. Weston, David Weston. 26 years, I'm sorry, 68. Hello, do you wish to communicate with me? I will really appreciate. No? I understand. I understand. Thank you. No responses. <laughs> so I'll keep going around for a bit. Uh, I think they're closing the park really soon. So I will go back to the hotel and uh, continue this investigation in the hotel, in my hotel room, because, well, it is believed that my hotel room is haunted. So I will find out tonight. And is there any spirits who wants to communicate again? My name is Jeff. Just here to communicate. Thank you. Somebody here who wants to communicate? Wants to tell a story? No? Well, okay. Well, Abigail, I will thank you. And uh, yeah, you guys, I will go back to my hotel room. And uh, basically I'll, uh, I'll set up some some stuff, some uh, equipment in the, my hotel room, and uh, I will investigate tonight. I will uh, try to close off the, the lights and everything, and yeah, I will investigate my hotel room and just hope that uh, the spirit that resides in my hotel room comes by and uh, So I'll see you guys in the room, and uh, yeah, that was short, that was sweet, and uh, 
magnificent monument back there. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, try to come back and uh, visit the graveyard again. So I'll see you back in a minute. All right, see you back. So, paranormal explorers, we're back at the hotel. So we're gonna set up and we're gonna try to catch something tonight because, well, this is the Lord Nelson Hotel. Lord Nelson Hotel is deemed to be one of the most haunted places in Nova Scotia, yeah. So we'll try to find out tonight, all right? Let's find out. Eh, I don't know they want me to go in with my camera. I'll see you guys around, all right? I'll see you guys. Thank you. I will just check something. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Can you move? Okay, that's good. Good? Can you touch the ball? The little cat? Thank you. Okay, move away, please. Move away. Please, thank you. All right. Can you go to the cat ball? Please, feel free. My name is Jeff, I'm just here to come in gig. Sorry you guys, I will just remove my mic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's good, that's good. K2 just biked. Look, increase in temperature. Thank you, can you move away please? Thank you. Can you go for the green light? Please, I would really appreciate. Again, my name is Jeff, and I will be here for the night, so. You're playing with the temperature? Yes? Thank you. I will pull another device. Yeah, thank you. 
Thank you. Okay, move away, please. It's good. Thank you. I have another toy right here. Yes. There you go. So, please feel free to use the triangle to answer questions, all right? On one side you have yes, on the other side you have no. So, on this, yes, on this side it's a yes. And on the other side, you have a red light for no. And the sensitivity of the rampod it at its lowest. And the range of the prism is about a feet. So, yeah, so feel free to use the triangle. Yeah, you have the ramp on. Can you go in front of the triangle just to show me that you're here? Please? I would really appreciate just to confirm that you're with me. Can you go on the left side of the triangle to show me that you're in fact here? Or if you don't want to communicate, go on the right side of the triangle. It will show a red light and like that I will know that you don't want to communicate. I know you're playing with a ramp pod. But can you try the other toys? Please? And guys again, even if my phone is on airplane mode there's like lo lots of signals so it's an hotel eh? So. so can you go in front of the triangle again not again but just confirm that you're here with me I see you playing with the ramp pod but you don't seem to like the other the other toys Temperature again. Much appreciate if you would go to one of the devices on the bed just to show me that you are here. There we go. Can you go in front of the triangle? On that side for yes, on this side for no. Am I talking to a man? Am I talking to a woman? A woman, sorry. Am I talking to a kid, a little child? It became quiet all of a sudden. Don't want to communicate anymore? <coughs> you were playing with the rampart like crazy. This is supposed to be one of the most haunted rooms in the hotel. You played with the rampod, okay. 
Can you play with the other toys? Or the flashlight over there? Look, even a triangle can catch me from here, so. Can you go in front of the triangle, please? Much appreciated. It won't take no energy. Just go in front of it. Just to confirm that you're here with me. That's all. No? Okay. I will set up my camera right here. Thank you. And I will. I'll come back later, all right? Look at this. It's been happening. Can you move away, please? Move away. Thank you. Thank you. Can you do that again? Please? It's bizarre because it's like the rampart goes off every time I pick up It's not my microphone that does that. That's a temperature gauge. Can you move away, please? Move away. It's good. Thank you. Thank you. Even the, the key two is spiking. Thank you. Try a little spirit box. Can you talk to me through this box? Please? Would be much appreciated. <laughs> that microphone might. Headphone wire is like, oh. Thank you, thank you. And you guys, it's not my microphone. I've been to it, doing tests like for the past 15 minutes. And it's only on the bed. I've put the, thank you. I've put the flashlight right there. On the bed, it opens and closes, right there on the nightstand, nothing, nothing. The rampart's been going off, the K2's been spiking, and even if I, okay, look, I have to really put the microphone close to the K2, even though, look, I have to put it right there. What? Okay. It is weird. And my, even my, um, my yes no prism has ran out of batteries. 
that's the AC. Probably you'll see now that the light is red, it's going to turn blue. If it, if it doesn't turn blue, well, red, it's, it's AC, it's cold air. It's supposed to turn blue now. Red? It's cold air. If you beep, you're supposed to be blue. You guys, I'm... It's not open yet. And... Oh, it's prop. Even though... It's not the bed, I have to freaking jump on it. And on the ground, nothing. The cat ball's been there for, for the past 10 minutes, nothing. On the bed, everything goes. So. Put on AM. Let's go. Can you come and talk into the box, please? I'll go with FM. Let's go. You're dramatic. Tiens, comment toi Everyone still. Believe this? Oh. Or singing. Is that the question? Is it you? Oh, why? Who am I talking to? Chigo. The girl? Can you tell me your name?
Come and talk into the box, please. Kid brushing. Can you say hello? Please, can you say hello? Please. Nothing. Number two. What is the name of the spirit? Please. Come forward, talk into the box. Ship out. mostly radio stuff on look it's beeping blue now because there's cold air in the room and it's normal I'll try it on AM again please talk to this box Please come and to talk into this box. There is nothing. Come on. A sense that somebody wants to come through. Please put your energy into it. Speak into the box.
not a single world word word sorry <laughs> not a single word just a come on a sense that somebody wants to come through please do so Fuck. Okay. Then again. Don't be afraid. The person that wants to talk through the box, go ahead. There's a voice that wants to come through, but I can't make it. Please. There's the voice of a lady that wants to come through, but it's very faint. Please take your energy from the lights, from er every electronic devices that you find around. No thing. And the ramp on? Are you going again for the ramp on? Why each time do I pick up my microphone you you go for it? Why? Every freaking time. Look. You mocking me, right? Are you? Each time I... <sighs> I ain't doing nothing. The K2 is right beside it and sometimes it spikes. I don't know if you guys can catch you guys can catch it, but every freaking time I go put my hand on my microphone, that thing goes berserk. Look! Why do I, why every time I put my hand around my rant, my mic, not my mic. Look. It's not my microphone. I still got battery because I seen it. Oh, come on. Move away, please. Thank you. Can you go for the green light? 
please? Right beside it? Can you go for that? You only seem to go for the RAM pod. And every time that I go touch my microphone uh, freaking thing over there. I touch to anything else in the room, you don't do a thing. I go for that, you start beeping. Why? <sighs> Touching it. Look. Moving it towards you. Look. Nothing is happening. And it's not my mic. Can you go for the flashlight, please? That light has been, been flickering since I arrived. Can you go for the flashlight? I won't put it on the bed. I will leave it there. The K2, that's my mic. Look, that's my microphone. But even though. That's my hand. slowly doesn't do a thing Look. doesn't do a god damn thing okay now look there it goes but look that's not my microphone guys thank you again I just, I just don't know what to say. And it's been like that since I came here. Because when I arrived, I took my stuff out, I put the ramp on the bed, and the ramp on, has been going at it since. Look, the radio's not even on. The radio's not on. And now. <sighs> I really don't know what to say. That ain't because I freaking uh, did that. K2, probably the vibration of the bed. Not that. <sighs> you guys, I, I, I can't, I can't explain it. can't and it's the lowest setting of uh, distance for the antenna a 
it's not me. Look, it's not me. Go for the flashlight, please. It's easier to turn on than to, to turn off. And I know it's right there. You've played with it before. Do you want me to set it on the bed? Go for the REM pod. Touch the REM pod if you want me to set the flashlight on the bed. Go ahead. Please. Impress me. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See? I thought I, I even just barely touch the flashlight and it turned on. Okay. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Can you turn on the flashlight now? I've said it on the bed, right? Like you said it. You ask for it. There it is. Can you turn it on, please? Slight tap on it. It, it will turn on. Please? Do you want a countdown? Go for, for five? From five, all right? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Not even. A slight tap, just like that. There you go. There we go. Just a tap on it. Put your energy into it and it will light up. You did it before, I know. Camera shy? Camera's been rolling all the time, so everybody's seen you playing with the ramp on. Can you turn on the flashlight, please? I would muchly appreciate. It's just the TV set cracking. Impress me, please. I had more of a conversation in the graveyard than I having one right here with you. And I was said that this hotel is one of the most haunted hotels in Halifax. So, please, impress me. Can you turn on the flashlight, please? You've seen the ramp up, you've seen the K2 spike for nothing. And it's not my microphone, look, the antenna is pointing right at it. Nothing's happening. No thing. Look, freaking K2 spiked. It's not because I'm moving the bed. Look. It's not, look, the K2 has been spiking. It's not because of my antenna. Because when I speak, nothing is happening. Can you go for the flashlight, please? Take energy from 
All the devices. Yeah. If you touch a ramp pot, can you go? Look, the K2. Can you go for the flashlight? Right there, can you go for it? K2 again. Go ahead. Slight touch, just a tap. Yeah, just tap on it, just like that. Can you do it? Please? I've seen you do it. spirit. It's harmless. It won't hurt you. It's just likes. It will prove to me that you're here with me. That's all. You've been playing with that that thing and that thing for the past minute. Yeah. So what, why won't you touch the flashlight? Please. I know you've been playing with the ramp pod and you've been playing with a K2. Just like that. <laughs> Boy. You guys, I've been, I just, mind blown. I just don't know what's happening. And you see the ramp out is quiet for a long time and all of a sudden wet. And the flashlight, nothing. And it just look. Turn it on. Leave it on. Come on. Come on, leave it on. Right? Just like that. Just leave it on. Just leave it on. You turn it off. Hmm? Step on it. Turn it off. Just like that. Here. Can you go for it? I know it's harder to close it. I'm gonna show you. Just turn, slightly turn it, just like that. Just slight turn. Just turn it on, just like that. There you go. You guys know, I've been working with that for a long time. Sometimes I freaking struggle to put it right on the spot. And now it's right on the spot and nothing is happening. And you see, you've seen earlier in the graveyard, it was perfect, perfectly fine. It was opening, closing, well, probably not right on command, but and look at the ramp pod going. Thank you. Can you go for that? Please. Right here. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Kate, there you go. That wasn't hard. Thank you.
Finally! Thank you! Yes! Now we're getting somewhere. Thank you! Can you turn it on again? Please? Can you turn on the flashlight again? You just did it. Can you stop playing with the temperature, please? And it's not warmer in there, guys. I tell you. I don't know. Some of you probably say, I won't take your word for it, but... Yeah. And the red light's been flashing. Now it beeps. Thank you. Can you go for the flashlight again? Do you want a countdown? On a count of three? One. Two. Three. K2, thank you. I know you did the, thank you. <laughs> oh boy. Are you a practical joker? You just don't like me. <laughs> no, probably not. Can you turn off the flashlight again, please? Thank you. It's not that hard. And I've been asking nicely. Everybody tells me that the Lord Nelson Hotel is one of the most haunted hotels in Halifax. And well, I haven't been really impressed. The cat ball is right there on the ground. It hasn't lit up for ages. It's been right there. Why don't you go for the cat ball? You just stick around here? Yeah? Basically, you just hang out on the bed. Is that it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> the gate to spikes. Oh my God. The ball's just like 10 feet from you. You guys, it's so... The paranormal sometimes can so be so bizarre. The cat ball is right, is literally not even 10 feet, about probably seven, eight feet from the REM pod. The REM pod's been beeping like crazy. The flashlight's been, the K2's been spiking. But the cat ball, nothing. I feel a presence. I feel something. Thank you. Thank you. Can you turn it off? Can you please do it on my count? All right? Please, all right? Just to show for the viewers. Okay? On the count of three. One. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You didn't wait. D do you want? Do you do you want to do it again? Turn it on on the count of three. All right. Can you? All right. Okay. On the count of three. Please. Please. All right. 
One, two, three. Oh, come on, be a good sport. Please. One, two, three. Ah. Oh. It's probably not intelligent. I would rather say probably residual. But if it would be residual, well, be more constant than that. I'm puzzled, you guys. If you guys have a, some sort of theory that could help me, please tell me so because Thank you. When you went up to yellow. You went up to yellow and even uh, orange earlier on. Can you go for it? A little bit more? Thank you. Can you take all the energy? Take the energy from the batteries. From, it's not my hand. Take the energy from the batteries, from the, the flashlight, and put it into the round pod. The round thing? Can you put your energy into it? Make it go up, make it, make, oh, sorry, boy. It's 9, 925, I have to get up at 5 tomorrow morning to go on the movie set, so. Can you do something else, please? Can you go for the can ball over there? Or you want to concentrate on the bed. And by the way, I am sleeping on, in that bed tonight. So, if you want to share the bed, I don't mind. Thank you. Can you turn it off? Can you at least take my count? On three, one, two, three. <laughs> oh, they are right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on. It puzzles me. It went to yellow, it went to orange. A little bit earlier on. Each time I was, I was going for my mic just like that, and I was. It's not my microphone that does that. Look, it's not my mic. Can you go higher? It's not, it's not the microphone. Thank you. Why you don't like when I pick up my mic? It's 
to wait. I'm so puzzled, you guys. And the flashlight. Thank you. Can you move away, please? Thank you. Can you turn off back the flashlight? Please? Turn it off. Turn it off if you don't like to be given some orders. Please, thank you. I'm just asking politely, all right? I ain't giving you orders, I'm just asking. If you don't want to communicate with me, can you turn on the flashlight? want me to turn off the camera to leave you alone turn on the flashlight if you wish to continue this conversation can you turn on the flashlight Politely and very nice. Please, if you wish to continue this demonstration, thank you. So, to be sure, just to confirm that you wish to continue communicating with me, can you turn, can you touch? The antenna. No, not the flashlight. Okay. Go for the rampod, please. Touch the antenna. Or at least go in closer. If you wish to continue this conversation. Better off. Touch any of the devices if you wish to continue this conversation. Any of the devices. Even the cat ball over there. No. Okay then. If you wish to end this session, So I can go to sleep and leave you be. Please touch any of the devices. And I will close everything up. I will say good night to my viewers. And I will let you be. So will it be? Do you wish to end? this session right now. Touch any of the devices, please. That's why I think it's residual. Or it's probably intelligent, but I don't know. I really don't know. If you are in fact an intelligent spirit or being or energy, turn off the flashlight, please. I'm asking really politely, please. Thank you. So if you have any uh, sign of intelligence, please. 
if you want to end the session, touch any of the devices. Okay then, if you want to continue this conversation or this session, please touch any of the devices, Rampod, K2, flashlight, cat ball, anything. Touch anything, please, please. Do you want something? If you want something out of me, please touch one of the devices. Turn on the flashlight if you want something. You guys, I'm just... so weird. Why? Why every time I pick up my mic? And it's not my mic. It's not the microphone, guys. It's just laying right there on my lap. And if it wouldn't be in the microphone, the K2 would spike up. I'm just, oh my God. You guys, well, I'm just confused and bedazzled and just I don't know I don't have words for it well I think I'm gonna call call it right there yeah I'm calling the investigation because you don't you, you just being art ass you just beeping when I try to close the, the session down you guys. Why? Just why? So you guys, I'm gonna tell you good night and please, if you're bedazzled like I am, please leave a comment, leave a like. Just, I don't know. That's why we call it paranormal. It's it's not normal, it's over normal. It's there's clients in the hallway, but damn. I'm just confused. So I hope to see you guys next next week. And uh <laughs> I will be staying, uh, working on the movie until November 10th. I've seen Lomar and uh, Chelsea today. Uh, we had a long talk and uh, I think we'll see some good collaboration with uh, Lomar and myself in the near future. And uh, yeah, check this out. And uh, they're just incredible. And I've met their medium. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. He's a great dude as well. Very quiet man, but a heck of a good person. And thank you guys. Thank you for being here. And uh, yeah, that was the Lord Nelson uh, Hotel in downtown Halifax. 
Well, I'll catch you guys on our next paranormal adventure, all right? See you guys. Bye-bye.